We're currently sitting at 1587 at rank 20 on the leaderboard, so let's see where we can get to in this episode. I'm hoping to hit around the 1600 mark, but we'll see if we can get the enough points in these three games. Let's get right into it. Do my panic here, which he is. Waste all of his boosts. And here's where I just do a chip shot. Ooh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that fake. That was probably the dirtiest fake I've ever actually scored. Alright, we got our first game. We got SKR. It's a Rocketeer. Never heard of this guy before. See a fast kick off. He's a 50 50. He should get that mid boost though, so I'll have to be sitting on this spot here on the defense. Make sure I save that really well. Wait for him to do that touch. It's really pointless. Try to shoot this in a second. There we go. Probably clear this out. He doesn't. This could be pretty dangerous for him. Off him off. Let's force him into that corner. He's used a lot of his boosts. Staying very aggressive. I gotta recognize that in the future, if he does that again, that he'll just stay on the ball. In this situation, I could have went <clears throat> off this touch right here instead of going to the corner. And I would have cleared it over his head. He would have been very aggressive and overcommitted. But I like to absorb the pressure a lot in those situations. Just see what... See what uh, players do in that situation. There we go. So he's very low. I'm just going to get another early flick here. Woo! Boom, that one to the ceiling. He's picking up pads right now. He's forcing him out. Should I get the boost from him? I feel overcommitted here though. Ah, that's close. See what he does here. Off this touch. Keep it safely into the quarter. Almost got a goal from his poor catch. Might be enough. It's a good follow through. That's my bad again. <clears throat> Being a little bit too aggressive in the corners. Got the boost from him, but it didn't really matter. Alright, so we have the boost. So he did get the flip reset, but shouldn't really matter. He, he's got the possession again, so. I don't think I got on target here. <clears throat> Going for yet another scene play or sidewall play. And he's quite out of the play that in that corner. He, he went for the, uh, the late delayed touch to act like he had no boost, but I can just wait on the back end. <clears throat> there we go, got a decent 50 50. So we'll stay with this. Goes back for that corner, I could probably score this. Yeah, that's really aggressive by him to be in that corner with that boost. So I can just follow through in the mid. And then take it in the mid uh in the midfield to score. Good 50 once again. Starting to warp a little bit. Starting to feel it a little bit. It's gonna be hard for him to save. A good early chip. <clears throat> he got the back corner, but he needs to push on me right away or position a little bit closer to his net during that challenge. Ooh! He tried to go off the ceiling, but at that point, he's already overcommitted uh, on the back end with the defense. Uh, he probably could have collected a few pads and sat in mid, tried to bait out my uh, my flick, or at least some sort of 50-50. All right. Make him think that I'm far, so he can just keep jumping. He's panicking a little bit. That's all I gotta do. And just smack it down corner, top left corner. Just trying to be a, pe a presence on the ball to make sure he backs off. Uh, if he doesn't want to back off, then he'll make some panic touches, like he was. And that way I can get some possession. So here I'm just going to stay with my 30 boost. It's a good touch, but he's very low now. There we go. Scoop it underneath. Feel a little better now. I was, I was pretty um, 
not nervous, but just not feeling the greatest at the beginning of that game. But it started to warm up a little bit and then kind of carried away the the 6-2 lead after being down 0-2. So we got five points. We're at 1592. That's not bad. Hopefully we can uh, push up even more and get into the 1600s because I think that's the first time we'll be at 1600 in this series so far, which will be pretty nice to move into. All right, we got the uh, second game of the video. It actually took quite a long time to queue, but we're running into Miguel here. Hopefully I can pop this in the corner. I'm going to stay with this, actually. Pop it over. Make sure I stay with the ball. Could just be in. He's going to have to catch that pretty awkwardly, though. That post bounce almost caught me off guard. Should be a finish by me here if I can get it on target. He yeah, is underneath the ball. I didn't actually know where he was. Oh, he own goal it for me. I kind of, I kind of mistouched the uh, the final the final shot on target, but uh, I don't really sign anymore. I feel really bad. I'll sign for him because it's in the video, but I feel really bad. I usually don't sign people anymore just because uh, Steam signs have always been a pain to me. Like this. Yeah, I'm not one to really sign anymore just because you only get ten a day. You, uh, I think it's Steam's way of protecting against uh, spamming, like spam bots and stuff. They usually don't do it though. I feel really bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a long queue. I don't know. I don't know what rank he's at or what MMR exactly, but I'm gonna fake that so that way he uh, goes for the ball. Not my best touch here. Bit of follow through though. Oh, I think he went early. Yeah, so I was able to shoot it right away. He uh, went to the ceiling. Not the greatest challenge by him. He needs to make sure he uh, approaches that more more in between net if he's going to go for it. That way he can cover all the options, but... I ended up being a little boost here from this challenge, but hopefully I can get back off this. It's pretty aggressive by me. Oh, that's a good finish. Yeah, so I ended up choosing to go for the low boost dribble. If, if I'm going to do that, I got to make sure that I don't flick when he's already challenged me. I have to do it beforehand. So if he gets anywhere close to me, I can start to push it. But here we go. Try to do something fancy. That was actually pretty close. I like missed that. It actually could be a goal for him. No. Okay, we're good. That's off target. That's also off target. He'll get the boost. I'm going to make sure I get that pad so he doesn't steal from me. It's going to be a goal for him too. So yeah, that was pretty aggressive by me to backflip that in the corner with 12 boost. I need to make sure I, I'm the one to stay grounded if I don't have the boost advantage. But I need to stop fooling around. I'll take that 50-50. That way I can get the boost. Let's see what he does with this. That's a good bump. He got right in between the ball and the and the uh, the player there. There's not much you can really do if you do it properly, if you set it up. Try to do it against him if I can. Like I said, I don't really usually steam sign, so I feel, feel bad for people who do ask. Should be far enough. It's off to the side. I had the positioning to place that bottom right corner. If he challenges immediately, that's when I flick. Just waiting for him to make a, a move. You can see how that pays off if you if you just stay patient with those. He did miss the mid boost, so. It'd be difficult for him to save properly. I do bump him off at the end too, so. Pretty good plays back and forth here. Two goals. With just a Pretty nice flip reset, and then also just a flick above him, so he panics a little bit and passes it back down to me. It's a good delay shot. I don't expect the uh, delayed 50-50. Well, well played by him. Let's change up his kickoffs quite a bit. There we go. I knew he was going to touch it first, that's why I don't flip. Almost enough, but it's not going to be not going to be a chance for a goal yet. 
Try to go for me on that. He might panic here, which he is. Waste all of his boosts. And here's where I just do a chip shot. Ooh! Oh my god! <laughs> I that was the dirtiest fake I've ever... Oh my god! <sighs> oh, that fake. That was probably the dirtiest fake I've ever actually scored. It was so dirty, in fact, that it, it actually readjusted off of his hit. Just trying to make sure I follow follow that boost in the corner there. Oh, oh my goodness! I don't even know what's going on anymore. I just can't believe that <laughs> that one goal that happened. That was crazy. That fake was probably the dirtiest fake I've ever scored, just because of how uh, how close it was to his car. Like it was, it was so close. In fact, that like it it like skipped a beat on the server side. So. Pretty happy with that shot. It's pretty clean. Uh, we are 8 4 here. Just gonna follow through in the corner. I keep saying follow through ever since that one video. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's a good dunk. Should be able to get back though. He's not going for the ball, so I don't have to be too aggressive with this pinch. It's a good catch by him. It's gonna be open for me though. Yeah, I had a really good possession off that off that catch in the back corner, but he ended up jumping with the ball to try and lift it on top of him, and then his flip just sent him to the side. So not the greatest play by him, but he did have a good catch that he could have led into a, a goal here. Not the strongest shot for me. Could have scored that for sure if I did a bigger windup. Thought he would challenge. Like here, he needs to make sure he gets a 50-50 with me or something instead of throwing the wall away. Right there, when I see him challenged, I can just flip flip earlier. That way, it hits the ceiling and back into me. So I make sure that when I hit this, I follow I follow the ball uh, with my flip. That way, it stays in my, in the direction of my line of sight as I'm boosting back down. I'm still still overwhelmed by that one fake. That's that's crazy. That's the kind of thing I wanted to do before. So I wanted to wind up and make sure it side flip, side flip shot. So pretty well played by him at the start. I ended up just walking away with the game at the end, sort of similar to the first game. Um, maybe it's just a lack of confidence after being down so many goals. Could shoot this, so I gotta be a little bit careful. I see that he's just shooting early. I mean, with this much time left on the clock, there's not really much you could do. So don't blame him for trying to like power shot. If you want to get enough goals back, you're gonna have to like just get immediate, immediate goals off the kickoff. So anything like this with drawing off the time is not gonna be good. As you can see, there's already 16 seconds left. Doesn't take long. It's a good pop. Do get the bump under him though. I don't. I don't have my flip. <laughs> I tried to delay it in time. No, no score. No. That's okay. Um. I tried to delay it just enough where I could flip it with the 12 boost, but ended up waiting a little bit too long. My internal clock, internal timer did not work. That should be it for game two. Well played by Miguel. I'm not sure what rank he is. I don't have the, uh, the MMR on anymore since I did the uh, Euro Cup and stuff. So I'll have to check, uh, I'll have to check how many points we got. All right, so we got two points. So he's probably around like 1,450, 1,400. Pretty good player. Uh, just I think it's just confidence kind of fell through the roof after I started walking away with a lot of the goals. We started rushing a lot of things, but um, hopefully we can get six more points into the 1600. Maybe maybe we won't be able to in this uh, this episode, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what opponent we have next. All right, and for the last game, we do have Young Evo. I've really played this guy before. He says sorry. <laughs> Not really sure why. We'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna probably stay close to this ball. Bring it out to midfield. He's pretty far away. Go for a high flick, see what he does. Good defense. I don't know why I jumped for that. I need to chip that at him and then force him into a position where he has to uh, play off that ball. He's low boost now, so he's looking for pads. That was a really bad flick. Ooh! Make him panic. Oh my gosh, what a save. 
a good play by him. I could have scored that a while ago. I kind of made a mistake. It's a bad touch by me too. It gives the ball, ball away a little bit, but it could be awkward enough that he has to save it and lose all his boost. He's the one low here. Now I can play boost advantage. This makes a challenge in the corner. Pop it up behind him. And that, that little chip shot is going to be really difficult to save when uh, it's above his head like that. That's a pretty good, game, uh, pretty good game so far. A majority of the pressure. He could shoot this right away, so he'll be a little bit careful. He kind of threw that pretty hard though. He does here. Oh, I went for the low chip. He was challenged from the side. It's gonna be pretty dangerous for me though. Make sure I get 20 boosts and then jump to the side. He's an attempt by him. It's pretty open net, but we'll let him get back, see what he does off this. He's forcing in his his uh defense. Oh my goodness, he almost bought me off. He's coming from behind me, so I'll be a little bit careful on this. He does steal the boost. He's looking for me, and uh, in that situation, I'm, I'm just going to wait for him to try and drive past me, for the most part. Get that close. Force him into the boost steal, which puts him against the wall. It's a really good touch, though. I didn't expect that. I really want him to go into that corner boost, because then I can pop it over him, but he actually swooped in underneath, which I didn't quite expect, which is a good play by him. There we go. It's pretty far away here. He went for the uh, early attack, but he didn't actually get close enough to uh, to defend that one. He went all the way far left corner and then looped back around it. Get in my face a little bit. I think it's very common what I'm noticing from this guy. I'll pop behind him so he has to make an awkward save. It gives me possession. I don't want to be the one to put myself out of position. Make an awkward shot for him again. Pop it over him. Give a little boost. I'll try to let him recover here. It's a good bump. It's a good demo too, but hopefully it bounced up high enough that he can't just score. It's a good shot though. Enough space. The reason why I said I try to let him recover there is because I'm not going to be able to let the, get that ball in front in time. So I'm trying to let him hit the ball across and panic. But he did a pretty good job of holding on to it. It's a pretty close game back and forth here. Not pulling any any bags of tricks out so far. But we'll, uh, we'll see how this game progresses. We still have two minutes left. Should be an open net. There we go. It's a tight angle. It's harder than you think to score. I wouldn't necessarily call that an open net <laughs> by any means. But it's, uh, it is for sure a shot opportunity like I showed. I'll try to shoot this. That's in. Yeah. I thought it was higher, but I don't, I don't know why. I stopped jumping. I could have easily saved that. I just kind of made a little panic decision. So, not the best play by me. He might go for that corner, so I'm going to push him for this mid. Force him into an awkward position. I want to go directly on target here. We open net. I want to score it. Just make sure I get a good catch. Once you force him out of the net like that, you don't have to panic too much. There's lots of time. You see, uh, you just make a control touch, and then uh, well, that's good. Oh, he gets the boost too. I could have probably done a diagonal flip there. It's a really good result for us since uh, he had all the boosts. Fake that. And boom it away, that's fine. Just trying to stay away from his demos. Pop him out. Put this on the sidewall first. So we can stay with it. Pop towards him. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, he just left me the ball. That is not what I meant to do off that post. He must have thought I was backing out, getting that corner boost or something, but. I ended up falling off the post a little bit. Awkward. Now it's the first day back from the cottage. We're, we're trying our best here. It's a good defense. Should be a, a good shot, shot opportunity for him. 
It's a little bit too high and too far away from his car, so it will stay with it. I'm gonna try and force him into a bad hit. That was not the worst, but it could have been a lot worse for me. It's a weird touch from him. Just force him back a little bit. That, that touch right there gives me the space to get this boost. So I'm just waiting for him to make something happen. I'm gonna go early. I haven't really done that that much this game. Make sure I change it up. See that he was gonna go for the demo on me. Goes for the high shot. Goes for the fake on the touch, which is fine. I'm just gonna get a pad here. That way I can just keep my boost advantage. I don't care if he touches that, it's fine. Oh, that was also a dirty fake. So back to back games where we get a really disgusting fake and that actually makes him leave. So that will be the end of this game. We'll see where we're at on the leaderboard, but pretty happy with these games so far as my first day back. It's really difficult to come back to this game. It feels really wishy-washy to play, but pretty happy with how we performed overall. Like a lot of mistakes, but not, not too shabby. We'll see where we're at. So we actually hit 1600 on the dot. Wow. Okay. Well, that works out really well. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, this is the first time we've hit 1600 in this series. We're moving up on the ranks. I'll show the the, uh, the leaderboard real quick before we end here. So we're sitting at, I think, seven. Yeah, we'll be at, uh, actually, we're, we're at the same position. We went up uh, six points, but it didn't move anywhere. So we're at 18th. Not too bad. It's about, I think that's close to the highest where we've, we've been. I think it was 16th one time in one of the videos. But hope, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Until next time, catch you in the next one.